Welcome to the Horner series on the Clover Creek map in FS19. Today we will be buying a new truck. We'll be trading in our players for a new one. We'll be buying a utility trailer and a few greenhouses for the property. It will be a very busy day as we have lots of things we do need to do. Our project truck build is coming along very nicely. A few parts came in, so let's go pick them up. We'll be taking the 2016 Duramax over to the store to pick up the big box. Many of you guys have requested me to get some aftermarket parts there for the truck, including an exhaust. And the exhaust is now, and we are going to be doing stacks out of the bed of the truck. I think we have to go all out here for it, and many of you guys really wanted big, big uh, stacks in the bed. So that is what I've decided to do. Today we will be buying a 2019 Ford Raptor Super Cab. Many of you guys have also asked me to purchase one of these, but one thing we are not doing is trading in any trucks. We will be keeping it, and please let me know which truck would you guys like me to sell and kind of trade out of. I was thinking we would more than likely trade out of this Duramax, but I really like this quite a lot and don't want to uh, really change. And we are arriving here. Take a look at that very big box. We should be able to lift it up no problem. And we'll take the utility trailer here with us as well. we'll put the tailgate down. I'm excited to be back here with this series. Many of you guys have been requesting me to do multiple homeowner series videos every week. So let me know if you guys would like me to do that. I could start to do maybe Friday, Saturday just in uh this uh, FS19 and this is a pretty wide box what I will actually do is pick it up and I will put it in the other way it's a little bit narrower yeah this should work and there we go so perfect and we'll just get it strapped down and we'll head back one thing I do want to do is also bring uh, the utility trailer back with us. Now, I really want to use this. The enclosed trailer is kind of way back there, and the Polaris doesn't really clear it too well. So here's a new trailer. We got the side rails here on it. This thing looks perfect. We did have another trailer similar, but this is a different brand, and I really wanted to get one of these. Once you kind of sell something, you kind of miss it, and you really wish you did not sell it, and that's kind of what happened there. Like I have touched upon, I really do enjoy using all these trucks here currently with the series, and I'm thinking we'll just keep them all. Yes, we are adding and adding more trucks here to our kind of collection, but I think it's nice to have a collection like this. But let me know, guys, if any of these, what would you like me to sell? We just recently got the 450. We do have that Ram, but I really do like the Ram as well, so we don't really want to kind of really change uh, that out. But we'll get this unstrapped, and let's... Uh, get the door open now it's a pretty tight fit here in the garage I did move some things around to fit the new truck in there as well and I think for now we'll probably just put the box outside but you guys can see the project truck is in here really uh, coming along pretty well actually we could probably put it uh, yeah we'll just put it outside the door I will carry it in a little bit later we'll get that closed we'll get the truck turned around and we'll get the players on uh, the trailer Probably should have just backed into the driveway, but it's always easier to just drive in. We will be taking the brand new players out onto the dirt track as well today. And many of you guys really do like it so far. I did do a little bit of adjusting to it, and so far it is really, really fun. So many turns, and I really do like all of the bumps, everything like that. Let's get this uh, players out. Now, we are getting a two-seater. I think the two-seater, much smaller wheelbase, a little bit lighter, is always a big bonus for off-roading, especially when uh, we really can't even sit the four people on it and we are still in single player, not multiplayer, so it's going to be a good thing to just switch this out. And looks like we do have a collision getting us there. I hope everyone's having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below here in the comments. My day is going good so far, and I hope all of yours is. Now, I really do like these rails. They were a nice option. Probably will look into making them a little bit bigger, I will have to say. That's probably the only change there. Kind of get backed in here. 
perfect, and more than likely uh, we'll do some rearranging uh, later on. I really do like this truck a lot, and if we do keep it, I definitely want to probably get the color change. I definitely want to go to kind of a dark gray black, and I also want to do the chrome on it. I think that will be nice. If we do chrome on whites, I'm not sure how it would look. So let me know, guys, if we do keep this, maybe change out the wheels to some other aftermarket, things like that we could do to really make this uh, even better. If we do have time today, we'll probably ride the horses and things like that. I really do want to incorporate them since we have them at the property as well. And take a look at the new uh, two-seater. Same design and everything, which is great. Now, one thing I don't know if many of you guys noticed, we actually have the working wire on that. That's pretty awesome. Looks like a few things are different, like the hood. And wow, a very, very similar design. Just take a look at that. That looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it looks like just a few different color things. That's really the main difference in the hood. But let's just put it kind of side by side. It is a little bit on the shorter side as well. And we'll take a look. So it's actually scaled up quite a bit more. Wow. I might have to look into scaling it down just a little. But I thought a two seater would be nice. And this has a ton, a ton of speed. We have to be pretty careful loading it on. Cannot wait to take this out on the dirt track. We'll probably take the Raptor out on it in the future, but for now we probably won't. And the Duramax is sitting a bit low. I really do like this generation here of the Duramax as well, and the interior, everything about this truck's are very nicely done, and that's kind of why I'm hesitating to sell it. Now one thing I'm going to do right now is to just get the trailer kind of parked up in its position, and this trailer, since we'll be using it quite a lot for parts and even transporting things like that, we are just going to be putting it alongside here, actually, we could probably put it alongside the building on this side, yeah, I think this will make even better sense, and that way uh, this will be our main trailer we'll use, the enclosed trailer is really for like those big uh, camping trips and things like that, so the trailer will go right here. And that should be good. We'll let this get warmed up here for a few moments as we get the truck put in the garage. But wow, so much speed already. And it's a pretty touchy a gas pedal. Perfect. So we got uh, the new parts, the new players, and the new trailer. The last thing we got to get is that Raptor as well. We'll get it in a bit. I do want to go out onto the dirt track and finally we'll uh, do some stuff with the greenhouse. And that's a pretty tight fit, but wow. Now it is kind of nice to have a dirt track here in the property as well. It's going to be pretty awesome. And I did make quite a lot of changes. So we'll just do a few laps here and then we'll kind of bring it back there and we'll get it washed before we put it in the garage and wow this thing really you guys can see just getting quite a bit of air and this will be nice probably every video will probably do uh, something here to take a vehicle even the Raptor would be awesome get a little bit of air take a look at that uh, it is a bit tricky but I mean very nice fun track so far I definitely have to increase uh, the size of this add more parts to it as well I definitely want some corners to be like you choose kind of a tougher corner and then uh, or you could choose an easier one that way you have like options on different ones that's probably what we'll do wow I really like this the handling of this is a bit better I will have to say as well let's head back over here to the house and I think for now we'll just kind of get this parked outside especially since I do want to go check on all the animals a little bit later on but let's go over here and get the raptor here it is guys the 2019 ford raptor super cab now with the super cab which is like the half door we get a much shorter wheelbase we have a five and a half foot bed i think the shorter wheelbase is going to be beneficial for off-roading as well we got the dual exhaust here on it this thing is nice it's an eco boost v6 3.5 liter uh the v8s in the older 
trucks would be nice to get an older generation but i really do like the look here of the raptor would be nice to get a crew cab in the game as well in the future but this thing looks nice and i did add this interior as well it's not exactly a ford raptor interior but it's a ford interior and that's kind of just why i wanted to add it as well especially just looking at like the dash view it is good now i did take out the gooseneck hitch and all we have is tailgates with a few straps so very nicely done and i cannot wait to take this off-roading i do want to put some break-in miles on it before we have quite a bit of fun there let me know your thoughts guys what should we do to this maybe just maybe we might have to change the color of these wheels here to kind of black or maybe even these fenders we could uh, change to color match and some other things like that maybe the grill color match let me know your feedback but this thing looks awesome now actually since we are back here at the house for the day I'm thinking we'll just close the gate really no need to have that open especially when we aren't going anywhere but we'll get this backed into the garage and we have so many vehicles and I kind of like them all but maybe maybe we might have to downsize let me know your feedback I mean we do live here in a pretty big house and I mean it kind of is a little bit too much but let me know your thoughts and perfect we are able to fit it here indoors really do always like them to be garage kept I do want to get this parked up here we'll take the gator out and we'll go check on the horses and the chickens and then we'll buy the greenhouse we cannot forget about that and more than likely I'm thinking just moving the ATV back and that way we don't have to keep squeezing in and out now this is a very nice uh, Ford truck back here probably want to move it to some place else not really next to like a dirt bike and an ATV might have to switch the Raptor in this truck I think that's probably what we'll do is just switch the positions hop in this this is so fast so it's gonna be a bit tricky but we'll get fit in and perfect this yeah, I think we'll move the Raptor here, things like that. So let me know, guys, what type of organization should we do? And I cannot wait for those exhausts to go on the project truck. That will be pretty exciting. Now, we do have to go take our uh, horses to training uh, sites, things like that. So those are things that I definitely do want to do. Let's kind of just come inside. And so far, uh, we'll check on the food really quick. Looks like they have enough food and enough water, which is great. Let's hop on one of them. Just kind of walk around. I'm not sure exactly how to get them to run, I will have to say. And they're walking a little bit faster. I did switch here to the uh, controller, and it looks like it's a little bit easier. I really do wish we had like a first person on riding the horses. That would be pretty awesome. Just trying to get a little bit of walking in with both of them, and then we'll go over to the chickens. I definitely do want to take them out, kind of walk around in the woods around the property and things like that, even just walk around the land. So let me know, guys, what should we do here with the horses as well? Definitely want to incorporate them into more videos. I think we'll also go stop by the dog as well. He's over here in his dog house. We give him plenty of food and toys, and uh, everyone really likes having the dog. Guys, since he, there he is over there, we'll give him some more food. And perfect, he'll probably come get the food as well. Here you go, and I really do like that doghouse. That looks awesome. Take a look at that. He's eating there. Great animations. And it's nice having that kind of built into the game. Let's go over here, take a look at the chickens, and then we'll buy these greenhouses. Looks like the chickens have enough food. And how are the eggs doing? Looks like... I did not really speed up time too much, but wow, everything looks healthy, and that looks good. So let's hop here into the store, and let's go over here and buy these greenhouses. Now, we are going to be buying a tomato and a lettuce one. We're going to have good, fresh salads and some nice tomatoes as well. And let's kind of see. I definitely would like to have them kind of one right here, and I, yeah, I think that will be a nice fit. Let's get it turned around, though. 
I was going to be putting it on the back side of the property where the dirt track is, but if we do end up changing the track at all, then uh, we are limited there. So we'll put one there, which is great. And we want one lettuce. Where can we put the lettuce? Ooh, I got a great idea. We could put them like this. And the doors are right there. Perfect. Let's go over now with a gator and take a look. Definitely just trying to improve the house and make it as good as we possibly can. Probably the tomatoes won't be coming in just yet. I mean, we just bought these, but take a look at that, guys. Nice, fresh soil. We definitely have to do some other things. It looks like we got grass all the way around it, and we probably have to give it some water. Yeah, this is where the water is. So we do have a water trailer, which is great. And then, you guys, since we do have this one back here as well, let's head back over to the house and we'll call it a day. I think we'll go around the front side of the property. Now in the upcoming video we will have quite a lot of mulch here for our beds and I cannot wait there for that. That's going to be a very big project, probably 20-25 yards of mulch. We'll be putting very nice heavy coats over here and over here and around the garage as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's homeowner series video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Uh, stay tuned for the next one and subscribe for more. Thank you.